So in our last examples, we were always looking for the future value a. But if I'm given any of the, any three of the four variables, a, p, r, and t, I can always solve for the fourth variable. So on our first example, it says, you borrow $2,500 from a friend and promise to pay it $2,655 back in six months. What simple interest did you pay? So the four variables, a, p, r, and t, I'm going to try to identify which number goes to which variable. So 2500 is what you borrowed now. So now is p present value. You're going to pay back 2655. That's what you're going to pay back in the future. So that's a. What simple interest did you pay? I don't know. So that's going to be your rate. And we're going to have a question mark there. And then t is for time. Well, it says in six months. So six months. And I take that over 12 months because there's 12 months in a year. And time has to be given in years. So 6 over 12 reduces to 1 half. So 1 half of a year. And now I'm going to plug all my values in my formula. A equals P parentheses 1 plus RT. A is 2655 equals P, which is 2500. Parentheses 1 plus R times 1 half. So now I'm going to distribute to get rid of the parentheses, 2,500 times 1 is 2,500. 2,500 times 1 half R. So half of 2,500 is 1,250. And if you need help with that, you can always use your calculator. So that's multiplied by 1 divided by 2. Or you can use the 1 fraction button too as well. So that's going to be 1,250 R. So now I'm going to solve. So I subtract 2,500 from both sides. So 2,655 minus 2,500 is 155. And then the last step to get R all by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 1,250. So I'm going to use my calculator to divide 155 by 1250. And that R is 0 0.124. So if I move the decimal over two places to make it a percent, I'm getting 12.4%. So your friend is going to earn 12.4% interest off of your agreement. I might go find another friend and try to see if I can lower my interest rate, but apparently he's going to let you borrow a bunch of money, so I guess he is a pretty good friend. So you next one, you plan to save $2,000 for a trip to Europe in two years. You decide to purchase a certificate of deposit, a CD, from your bank that plays a simple interest rate of 4%. How much must you put in the CD now in order to have $2,000 in two years? Okay, so I'm going to list my letters A, P, R, and T. I'm going to read it again. You plan to save $2,000 for a trip. Do you have $2,000 right now? No. So that's going to be your future value in two years. So your T is two. And it's already in years, so you don't have to um, translate that into years. You decide to purchase a CD from your bank that pays simple interest, so that's going to use the formula that we've been using uh, at, a, at a rate of 4%, so that's my rate, 0 0.04. How, must, how much must you put into the CD now? That's P. I don't know how much I'm going to need right now, so I'm going to put a question mark there. I'm going to use my formula A equals P parentheses 1 plus RT. My A is 2000. The P is, I don't know, 1 plus R, which is 
0 0.04 times t, which is 2. So when I'm trying to reduce this, I have uh, numbers in my parentheses, so I'm just going to go ahead, clear out my old values, and just type it in the calculator, 1 plus 0 0.04 times 2. And inside the parentheses, I'm getting 1.08. At this point, I need to solve for p. Now, because their p is right next to the parentheses, that means multiply. So if I'm trying to solve, I'm going to do the opposite, which is divide. So I take in my calculator 2000 divided by 1.08. And the P is 1851.851. Okay, so what does this mean, P? That was a present value. How much must you put in the CD now in order to have $2,000 in two years? So this is going to be an amount of money. So we have $18,051, and then we have some cents here. We have 85 cents, but this one right here, normally in rounding, you uh, the one would tell the five to stay as a five. But because this is money, if you don't round uh, that up to 86 cents, then you're not going to have exactly $2,000. Um, if you round this up to 86, then you're going to have just slightly over $2,000, which is fine um, because you're saving for a trip to Europe, so if you have a little bit extra, that's fine, but if you are a little bit short, that's not good. So you, when you're uh, working with money, you're often going to be having to round so that you're overly cautious, so you'll have enough money that you need. Okay, so you really need to round up on that one. And this concludes our lesson on simple interest.